today was very much about sharing our vision for modern mobility and sustainability. And we looked at the different solutions that we will have that will contribute to that. So it's obviously the mobility solution, the platform solution, and the energy solution. First of all, it's obviously about the vehicles that we introduce for our customers. We have a strong leadership already in electric, battery electric vehicle technology, but we're also developing our fuel cell electric vehicle offerings at the same time. Of course, that's in terms of the tailpipe CO2 emissions. We're also making efforts in terms of carbon neutrality across all of our supply and manufacturing chain. I think this is an important part of the, the future of Hyundai, particularly we already have a, a fleet of vehicles running in the Swiss Alps. We have 45 heavy duty trucks with hydrogen fuel cell and they're demonstrating how we can offer this long range, long capability, fast refueling and making a significant reduction in CO2 emissions. That's technology that we will continue to explore. We're working on our third generation fuel cell, not only for commercial vehicles, but all sorts of different transport, including shipping, air, and of course, potentially also in passenger vehicles, where already today we have the Nexo when we'll look to extend our passenger car lineup of fuel cell vehicles in the future. An exciting time for us, of course, in terms of autonomous. We have today on our booth the Ionic 5 Robo Taxi, uh, level four, uh, working uh, in a joint venture with Motional, Motional and Eddie together, to develop uh, a vehicle that can go into operation as early as 2023. So that's the, a, a big step for us in terms of level four autonomy uh, for ride hailing. We believe that certainly by the end of this decade, you know, we could have intra-city uh, urban mobility, obviously starting initially with cargo, but ultimately in the future even going to passenger. We, we do see that as part of the future solution for the hydrogen society uh, and for smart cities.